Folks, today I'm going to visit Albert Einstein's land of make-believe, known as general relativity. Albert Einstein is famous for proposing that space is warped. Gravity is a consequence of the geometry of space, the shape of space. Let's go visit Professor Mathematics and find out what he has to say about this intriguing entity. Come on! Professor? Are you there? Professor! You are breaking my eardrums. Of course I'm here. Must you always ask such silly questions? Hi, Professor. I hope I'm not disturbing you. What do you want to know this time? I was wondering. Um, I was wondering about Albert Einstein's warp space, Professor. What does relativity theory have to say about that? Albert Einstein was a genius. Never forget that. We must never question his authority. Uh, just memorize his doctrines, uh, like studying for a test, huh? Exactly. Relativity theory has been proven many times. There is nothing more to say about it. Einstein proposed as the moon flies around and around and around because the space around the earth is shaped like a bowl. It is like a um, little uh, roulette. Uh, professor, um, how can you uh, push nothing downwards or, or shape it into a bowl? My glasses are foggy. Space is not nothing, you doom cop! Help, Professor! Help, Help Professor! Get, get me out of here! Tell me, is uh, that nothing? Uh, what was that, Professor? That is known as the frictionless bowl. Kind of like this empty glass of wine, isn't it? Yeah. You slide and slide and slide and never touch anything. That is what relativistic space is like. Einstein's equations prove that space is a frictionless ball that looks like a hammock. Oh, NASA spent billions of dollars building gyroscopes to confirm the theory. The gravity probe B experiment proved that space-time is a four-dimensional fishnet. You enter here through the third dimension and come out here through the dimension of time. Ooh, that was scary, Professor. <laughs> it is known as science. You would not be surprised if you studied physics.
So this is a high level physics that they study at universities such as Harvard and Cambridge. <laughs> Looks a lot like um, Harry Potter fiction to me, Professor. Do not trivialize science or I will put you in the frictionless bowl again. Um, Professor, why is it that, you know, our rockets can go through the roulette wall and travel all the way to Mars? What kind of question is that? You are not supposed to take the analogy literally. Oh, so, all of this was just an analogy? Of course. You must study maths if you want to understand relativity theory. People think thus they can learn relativity by analogy. Going round and round and round in a frictionless ball.